Devilfish or Monster Shark or whatever the hell you want to call it, like most Italian movies from the 80s, this thing's got like five different titles, is a shitty movie. Opening tune's a banger though. Growing up, I would always see this in my local video store and I always wanted to rent it just because the box art grabs you. I mean, look at that. That's dope as hell. Only to discover, to my dismay, that this movie isn't about a monster shark or even really a devil fish. If your idea of a fun film going experience is watching a bunch of badly dubbed actors having the weird sex. You're luscious and juicy and tender. Or just talking about shit and by God. Are you in for the time of your life? Directed by Lamberto Bava, under the name John Old Jr., for some reason, Devil Fish was just one of the countless Italian movies that was farted out in a desperate attempt at trying to cash in on some of that Jaws money. And good lord, might just be one of the worst, too. Whereas Jaws had characters getting involved that actually made sense. You know, a police chief, marine biologist, a jaded shark hunter, and Devil Fish, the fate of the Floridian Ocean falls on the shoulders of a fucking TV repair guy. I'm really not joking. I wish I was. God, I wish I was. I mean, there's a scientist too, but he's pretty useless as well. Holy Christ, it's coming right on the boat! Oh my God. This movie keeps introducing new characters and new subplots like every five minutes. There's this dude who looks like a Walmart brand David Hasselhoff who I guess is supposed to be a bad guy, but I honestly had no idea what the point of him was until like near the end of the movie. He breaks into this chick's house and kills her, but makes sure to rip off all her clothes before he does so, cause you gotta have them tits, you gotta have some sort of a draw. He then puts her in a bathtub that looks like it's full of dehydrated piss, and then drops a blow dryer in with her, but then unplugs it, rips off her underwear, and then plugs it back in? Did he just not plan this properly? Did they fuck up the edit? Is he taking that underwear back to his house as like a personal little keepsake? I don't know. I realized that it was probably to make this whole thing look like an accident, but why wouldn't you take that off before you threw her in the bathtub? It's just dumb. The monster itself is basically a cross between an octopus and a Dunkleosteus, which sounds cool, but because this movie had the budget of a potato, the combined total screen time of this thing? Probably five minutes, and there are only about two shots where you actually see its head in its entirety. Most of the time, it's just tentacles attacking people or footage shot so garbage that it looks about on par with the kind of stuff you get from people filming UFOs. You know, shit's all over the place, it's never in frame, it's blurry, and for some reason, Despite having a head big enough to swallow a whole ass person, it only ever seems to eat limbs. For most of the movie, you basically just see this thing on sonar. And I'm sure in Bava's mind, he was thinking, well, Jaws was terrifying, and most of the time we just saw barrels. So this whole sonar thing is a gigabrain idea. Because we have about a big a budget as a five-year-old in the 40s going to get candy at a corner store. But Jaws had Spielberg behind the helm, and great actors. This, not, not so much. Don't move, Davis. Stand back. You'll never stop him. You'll never be able to... No. You won't... ever be able to destroy my creature. The ending doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. So according to this guy, the monster is capable of reproducing at a crazy stupid rate. Every individual piece that comes off this thing can become another fish. It's basically Shin Godzilla. So they decide to burn it with flamethrowers, which is their, the, yeah, okay, fine, yeah, but how would that work? What about all the fish that's still under the water? Wouldn't that just be capable of healing itself after it goes back under? Wouldn't you have to like completely blow this thing apart with like high temperature explosives like thermobaric? just to make sure all the little pieces that fly off are like turned to ash as they fly off. Am I putting too much thought into this dumbass movie? Yeah, yeah I am. All you really had to do was add more gore and some more monster action and this could have fallen into the so bad it's good category. Other Italian Jaws ripoffs have done it. Last Shark is hilarious. Cruel Jaws is a hilarious exercise in copyright abuse. But this one is just boring as all hell. He really doesn't live up to the expectations that pre-adolescent Colt built up in his head after seeing that sick poster. One out of five is like really all I can give it. I don't care how stupid the monster looks, put it on screen more, that's why we even watched this thing in the first place. If you really want to see this, watch the Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode, because that's the correct way. Wait a minute.